Today, I'm gonna see what a chrome paint pen does. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just bought one of these chrome paint pens. There's a bunch of brands out here. This one is by like Molotow, and they're all kind of the same price. They're pretty inexpensive, and I think they're for artwork or touching up or signing things with more of a silver finish. To me, I don't think these ever give you a real chrome-like, mirror-like reflection, unless maybe you're putting it on glass or something. But what I thought we would do is just see if I can touch up this 3D printed Creator Award with the chrome paint pen and see what it does. All right, I don't know if you're supposed to shake up the pen, but I did it anyway. And so now I'm just going to kind of unscrew the top here. Well, I've got to break the seal first, all right? I can unscrew the top. Looks like we will have to prime it. We get a little white tip here. And on the real Creator Award, which I have been fortunate enough to receive. This piece is kind of a mad silver. So this 3D printed filament looks okay. It's starting to come out. You can see it coming out there. But this piece is actually a very reflective polished piece there. So that's why I just thought I would fill this in and just kind of try to make it look a little bit more legit. Um, it's actually a fairly narrow tip. So I'm gonna go all the way up to the edges here as much as possible. But I was thinking I might have a little trouble smoothing it around, but it looks like once you get the paint in there, it looks like it starts to flow pretty easily. So I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble getting around here. In fact, one thing I will say is that it's not as uniform or the color isn't quite as uniform as maybe it should be, but it's very silver, but it kind of looks a little streaky. It looks like graphite, in some areas and silver in some areas, you know, so just part of that is, and I say streaky, part of that is because 3D printing leaves very distinct streaks. I mean, we've got some high and low troughs there and I'm just kind of using the ink to fill it in as much as possible. Like I said, I do not expect a mirror like finish, but Thought maybe it would give a little more contrast. This is actually a little hard to read or see that it is anything. Oh, well, a replica nonetheless, but see that there's even a recessed area here without taking a close look at it. So I just thought that's might kind of highlight it. All right. So that's what this looks like. It actually seems to dry pretty quickly. And so what is interesting about it is again, do you see a reflection? Kind of, you know, you can kind of see it. I know the camera's a little bit in the way, but it's silver right here. Does it get more reflection? Obviously we have some ridges because of the 3D printing and whatnot, but yeah, that definitely gave it more of a pronounced silver look to it. Now, if you really wanted to be fastidious, you could go in there and sand it down a little bit, get you something in there, kind of polish it down, maybe fill it with a primer, a sandable primer and sand it down, but I wasn't going to do any of that. I just wanted to see if I could make that pop a little bit more in the spirit of what the Creator Awards look like. So if you want to add a little silver, it's not going to be chrome. No one's going to think you sent your parts off to the chromer, but give it a little silver with a decent amount of reflectivity there. You can try the uh, liquid chrome pen by Malatau. I think it was seven bucks or something. And seems like I've still got a decent amount of paint in there to sign autographs on footballs and stuff like that, which I think these things are used for a lot, but they can be used for arts and crafts as well. So I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.